So I'm Abby Conway. I am a junior here at Manchester. Um, and Faye, would you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Faye and I'm also a junior here at Manchester. Okay, so the purpose of this interview is basically to ask um, my peers and people who are around the school system about how life is with uh, quarantine. So first question, um, how are you, uh, Faye, coping with uh, the changes brought about by the COVID-19 virus? Um, so, so far, I've been trying to fill my time with productive things or things that make me feel more fulfilled than just, you know, watching videos or going on social media. So I've been doing a lot more cooking and baking and I've um, tried to take on new hobbies like learning new languages and reading. Um, and yeah. Uh, what type of uh, things have you made uh, cooking or baking? Um, so I've made a lot of different things. I think the best things that I've made so far are the things that have turned out the best um, have been my enchiladas and I made pineapple upside down cake. Sure wow. well. and I've made some other things, but they've been a bit iffy. How is it um, being cooped up with your family? I know you have a, a small family, but how is it like with them? Yeah, I mean, it's it can get a little bit tiring sometimes, but we all can go to separate rooms of the house and, and separate ourselves if we get a little sick of each other. But yeah. honestly, it's not been that bad. I'm yeah. I think people have been getting cabin fever though. Yeah. So um, are you guys like sharing responsibilities around the house or is it kind of like a, a you, the kids, like you and your brother are like kind of butting heads when your parents are doing their own thing? I mean, I think that everybody's like doing their own work and like chores. I mean, it's probably around the same distribution like my parents still do more but um everybody's like well, it's 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 not been too bad in terms of the tension yeah so um where have you specifically um as uh noticed um like the impact of social distancing from your perspective um well obviously the fact that i can't really see um, my friends except virtually or if we do like see them six feet apart um, by social distancing and it's been really weird because they've um, closed a lot of beaches and parks which is good because people have, were like breaking the social distancing rules but like basically all around I've seen it um, impact so I know yeah, <clears throat> that you work at Crosby's. What's that been like with all of the, um, all of the protections and uh, guidelines put in place? Yeah, uh, it's definitely been a new experience. They've they've definitely put in or uh, made a solid uh, attempt to um, keep us safe with all of their measures, with plexiglass and one way aisles and um, limiting the amount of customers in the store which I appreciate yeah and um it's it's not been too bad I think I would definitely like it to go back to the way it was but for what it is right now I think that the things that they've put in place have been um fairly effective one thing that I have noticed though is like the customers um are either like really nice and really appreciative um but some of them are a bit like anxious or eager to get back to normal so they can get more frustrated easily, especially with all the new changes, like seemingly every day there's something new. Um, but I mean, yeah. it, it gives me something to do. Yeah. Um, so how many hours are you usually working um, during the week? Um, I'd say probably around like 16, 17 hours. Yeah. Like four days. When did you specifically start seeing the buildup of these more um, stringent protections 
um, like the plexiglass, the limiting of customers, um, the tape, the aisles? Yeah, I would say um, it's definitely been a gradual buildup. Um, I think we've had the current things in place for about two weeks right now. So like maybe starting a month, maybe a month ago, um, they started putting in um, more measures. They were a bit behind other grocery stores, but um, that's probably just because they're so small. Yeah. So I know that uh, since you're also a student, there's been a big shift to online learning, as with me. Um, So what has been the workload for you um, and both school and and work, obviously? And do you think it's a manageable amount? Yeah, I mean, even though, like, I'm working slightly more than I was, I would still say that the work and school... um, work balance is definitely manageable. The schoolwork um, takes up a lot less time than actually going to school and having to do homework would be. So it's definitely been a lot less stressful and it's given me a lot more free time. Yeah. What's it been like um, preparing for the AP exams that are coming up in like just over a week? It's kind of a weird experience because I forget that they're happening because all of the work for my AP classes is technically preparing me so it kind of just feels like homework but I haven't really made too much of a conscious effort to prepare outside of that. It's weird knowing that the tests are going to be different this year so I'm not really sure what to expect. Do you feel like you're adequately prepared for the exams or um, are you like nervous for the exams? I think that teachers are doing a good job preparing us and and um, changing their curriculum to suit the new tests. Um, as of right now, I'm definitely not fully prepared for them, but I think I'm on an okay track. Yeah, I know it's for me. I it's the AP exams are kind of they're coming up <laughs> around the corner. You don't even know. So. I know. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> um. So. I know since these AP exams are going to be like the next month or so, and then the rest of school, how do you think the rest of school will pan out, um, especially with your non-AP classes, like what finals might look like? Um, I, I haven't really thought about the prospect of finals. I'm not sure how they're going to figure that one out. I think that the workload will probably be even less after the AP exams, which is nice, um, but I think it'll be hard to keep people motivated to do the assignments. Yeah, because the AP exams are like these big, important exams, and then with all the other classes, it's like... Yeah, I mean, um, when we were back in school, a lot of the teachers' plans was like to watch movies or do fun activities yeah. anyway, so... That's what I miss. That's the thing I'm going to miss the most. Um, not like it's just like you I was so excited for certain movies that we were gonna watch in classes and we might do that but we might not and it's it's gonna be weird um so I know this might be a little early to ask but have you started thinking about college um college admissions like the test I know the uh, uh standardized testing isn't hugely impacted um so what's that been like for you yeah so um Previously, before all this happened, I had already gone on a good amount of college tours and have been thinking about the process probably starting last summer. Um, It's definitely been a challenge now knowing that I can't take the SAT until the fall um, because I was ready to take it um, earlier, but, you know, um, and I've also been doing online info sessions and virtual tours to help um, supplement for my inability to actually visit the colleges, which has um, been pretty good. Yeah. Um, Were you planning on taking both the ACTs and SATs or just the SATs? Um, So far, I've just been practicing for the SAT, so I think that that's my... um, plan right now I might change but I haven't really looked at the ACT. 
Yeah, the ACTs, I'm planning on focusing on ACTs. Um, they're they're kind of in this wishful thinking state right now because they have a test scheduled for June 13th. Um, but I don't think that'll happen. So it'll just be interesting to see how like the two different um, admissions test programs kind of either mirror each other or kind of diverge on separate paths. Um, especially like in terms of the fall, it'll be, it'll be weird to see which which colleges say that their te test optional, but really aren't, or actually are test optional or still acquire it. Um, I just think it's gonna be quite interesting. Um, how is the virtual tours going? How are they going? Um, they're going pretty good. They were actually more helpful than I thought they would be. It was basically the same as if I was actually at that college. They allowed like virtual Q and A's and all that stuff. So I would definitely recommend taking a look. Is it? Are those on their like the specific college websites on YouTube or on Zoom or Skype? Yeah, so or... the guidance counselor sent out a link for this. Um, I guess it's a company or like a program called Strive Scan, where a lot of different colleges have posted or have scheduled um, virtual information sessions um, for all students, and the students can log in whenever the info session for whichever college they want to attend um, is, but they also have them recorded. So you can see them on the StriveScan website, um, even if you miss the actual info session. And yes, yeah, some colleges do have virtual tours and virtual info sessions on their actual website too. That's awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Um, it's been a great, uh, great fun doing this and I hope you are well. Oh, thank you. You too. Thank you for Bye. having me.